Hey guys, Nick Drossos and welcome to Code Red Defense. Today I'm going to give you guys one quick tip. And it's, it's, it's something I've seen, if you look at on YouTube, very common in fights I've seen. There's one thing that people will always do prior to a sucker punch. And that's take a step back, which means if he's, his feet are parallel and he's talking to me at some point, he's going to angle back, just angle back and start talking to me here. The instant I see this, it means he's preparing or like getting ready to throw that sucker punch. He's either creating his distance and his range or he's getting ready to punch. So what does that mean? If I'm here and I see him step back and he does this, my hands come up, I'm going to step in and strike. Best time to strike him is as he's expanding. So if he's here go and he's going for the sucker punch, boom, I'm going to step in right there with my palm coming in and my arms as well or going straight with the forearm into the face. Again, action is faster than reaction, right? So you want to move in when you see him winding up or when you see him take that step back. Again, I've seen tons of videos on YouTube of guys getting sucker punched. It's always the same thing. The guy takes a step back, he looks around, maybe he clinches his fists, uh, paces. All those are signs that the guy's getting ready. Don't just stand in front of him like this. Look at him. Your hands come up. You start moving. You start talking. You're getting ready. I see him do this. Boom, I'm going to pop him. Don't wait for him to throw that strike. The instant you see him angle off or the instant you see him wind up, you step in. But guys, if you want to learn more self-defense, exactly, a lot more, we have a great video, Common Attacks. we put the link in the top of the comment box. So go check it out. I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and stand strong.